Hey there, Michael Stack here, CEO of AMAX. Our world is in the middle of a crisis with a quickly spreading coronavirus. Now, I'm not an expert on how viruses spread. I'm not a medical expert of any sort, but I am an expert in injury management, which ultimately comes down to human behavior management. When someone gets injured at work, their life is thrown into complete chaos. Their level of fear is extremely high. Their level of anxiety is extremely high. And putting together systems to manage that fear and anxiety, to manage that fear of the unknown, to help that person recover and get back to work. In today's video, I want to share with you some of those best practices that you can learn and implement if you're strictly looking from a work comp management best practice or you're looking from an organizational standpoint of how to address the coronavirus at your organization, laying out this four-part framework to follow that applies to both situations. Now, when someone's injured at work, we recommend and has the proven best practice of creating and distributing and talking to your employees about an employee brochure. And that four-part framework is what I'm going to be talking about here as far as how to address this coronavirus at your organization. So let's lay this out of what this looks like. The four pieces to this are regular communication. So we need regular communication. Obviously, the coronavirus is changing very quickly. The news cycle is changing very quickly. It's almost minute by minute rather than hour by hour or day by day. Regular communication is vitally important in injury management for work comp and vitally important as far as how to address this virus. What to expect from you as an organization. What your employees or injured employees can expect from you and what you expect from them. Both parties have a responsibility. Both parties need to come to the table and hold up their end of the bargain. So regular communication, what can they expect from you? What do you expect as an organization from your employees? And again, this may change. It's changing very rapidly, obviously, as the situation continues to develop. And then FAQs, what are the frequently asked questions? What are those common questions that injured employees have on your employee brochure? What are those common questions that your employees have in regards to the coronavirus and how you're going to be addressing it at work? The only way for us to successfully defeat this virus, or at least slow it down significantly, is to work together as a community. We know that some of those major predictors has, that has been shown to us by WCRI of injured worker outcomes is what is that level of trust that they have in the relationship with their employer? What is their level of trust? How well are they being communicated with? Things like their English language proficiency and how long they've been at their job are all big factors, but it all comes down to communication. Trust re recedes with lack of communication. If you're not communicating with them, they're getting this information from somewhere else and are gonna to come to their own conclusions. What our world needs and our society needs is to increase this level of trust and increase this level of community because the more we work together, the better we are all going to do. Follow this four-part framework in injury management for your employee brochure when your employees are injured and implement it, borrow from some of those best practices on how to address this coronavirus at your organization. I truly wish you the best in your own health, in the health of your family, in the health of your organizations as well. Again, my name is Michael Stack. I'm the CEO of AMAX. And remember, your work today in workers' compensation can have a dramatic impact on your company's bottom line, but it will have a dramatic impact on someone's life. So be great.